Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. And today I want to talk about tent features that you could, should consider before purchasing a tent. To illustrate a lot of these features, I'm going to be using this old Marmot Den four-person tent that you see behind me. When shopping for a new tent, the first feature that I consider is its brand name because I know that tents made by Marmot, REI, Sierra Designs, Mountain Hardware, and the North Face will be made with the best quality materials and workmanship that will last for at least 20 years. I also know that if I ever damage one of these tents, the maker will repair it for a nominal cost. Other good tent makers include Eureka, Kelty, L.L. Bean, Columbia, and Coleman. I avoid economy tents, such as those sold in large chain department and sporting goods stores, because I know that they are disposable tents that probably will not last more than 20 camping trips or five years, and that their makers will not repair them when damaged. The second factor that I consider is the size of the tent. In particular, mid-size four- or six-person tents are best suited for most modern tent camping families. In particular, I suggest that most couples, including those with a small child or dog, should buy a four-person tent. Smaller three-, two-, and one-person backpacking tents are too small to provide adequate comfort, while larger 8, 10, and 12-person family tents have several limitations. For example, they require excessive packing space that may prevent you from packing other equipment. They are too heavy to carry into walk-in sites. They require excessive ground space that may not be available in many campsites. They require too much time to set up. They are difficult to dry when wet. They are more vulnerable to storm damage, and they require more time to strike. The third feature to consider is the type of material used to make the tent. In particular, I prefer tents made with aluminum poles rather than fiberglass poles, despite the fact that the aluminum poles will add about $100 to the tent's price. I also prefer tents with double-stitched, tape-sealed seams so that I will not have to seal the seams for five years or longer. Other important features include a strong bathtub or cantonary nylon floor, about 70D thick that will stand up to ordinary wear and prevent water seepage. Tough ribstop polyester walls and ceiling about 68D or denier thick that will hold up to strong wind, strong mesh windows, and good quality zippers that will not fail. The tent should also have a waterproof rain fly or exterior surface that is coated and has a hydrostatic head of at least 1500 millimeters. The fourth feature that I consider is the structural design of the tent. This Marmot Den is a backpacking dome tent that is very warm in cool weather, but it is not a good hot weather tent. In warm weather, I prefer tunnel tents because they offer the greatest amount of interior living space for the least amount of weight and packing space. Furthermore, they're very well ventilated. My second choices are A-frame and family dome tents. I generally avoid expedition dome tents, wall or cabin tents, umbrella tents, 
bell tents and open front tents because they have several limitations such as requiring excessive packing space, providing less storm protection, or being more difficult to drive. The fifth feature to consider is the tent's packed size. That is, how much space will it require when packed in your car? Most makers will give the pack size in terms of length and diameter, but a better index is the weight of the tent. This Marmot Den weighs 10 pounds and 2 ounces. As a general rule, I would say look for tents that weigh less than 20 pounds. The sixth factor to consider is the door height and design. I like tents with doors that are at least four feet high, and I prefer doors that are designed as a D shape rather than this upside down U shape. Notice that with the upside down U shape of this Marmot Den, whenever you unzip the door, it either falls on the ground outside of the tent or inside the tent where you're likely to step on it. The number of doors in a tent, to me, is not particularly important. The seventh feature to consider is whether the tent is freestanding or not. Now, I don't really feel that this is a real important factor, but freestanding tents do have two advantages over non-freestanding tents. First of all, they can be set up in campsites that just have an asphalt parking pad. And second of all, freestanding tents can be easily moved after they get wet and you need to dry the ground under them and their floor. The color of a tent is an eighth important feature. Many books and magazines and videos frequently cite color as an important feature, but the reasons that they give don't always make sense to me. I would say that the color of a tent is important for one important reason. Light green and white tents reflect the sun's radiant heat, and as a result, will cool down rapidly as soon as the sun goes down, whereas darker colored tents absorb the heat and will stay warm uh, for several hours after sunset. The number of vestibules and their size is a ninth important feature. Now this Marmot Den has two vestibules, one large one at the front of the tent and a very small one at the back of the tent. So let's move in and just see what these vestibules look like. This is the larger vestibule. You can see that there's plenty of room to put stuff, but about the only stuff we need to put in the vegetable mule uh, is our shoes. Here is a view of that vestibule from inside the tent. It's actually a little too large for us. Now if I move over to the other side, It's a very small vestibule. In fact, it's so small that our little doormat doesn't completely fit inside the vestibule. This is a view of that vestibule from inside the tent, and it's a little too small for our needs. The tenth feature to consider is the number of pockets and their placement. 
This Marmot Den has 12 pockets. Four are located along each sidewall, and two more are located above each door. Now we don't think pockets are particularly important and we hardly ever use them, but many campers seem to feel like the number of pockets is the most important feature to consider before purchasing a tent. Most tents have loops up around the ceiling which can be used to tie a shelf, but we use the loops to hang a little tent light. After buying a tent, we always buy a footprint for it, or we make a ground sheet with a piece of polyethylene tarp to provide additional protection for the floor. Well, I hope you've learned a little more about features that you should look for before purchasing your tent for modern tent camping. For more information about tents and tent features, please visit my website, www.basictentcamping.com, and read my recent book titled, Basic Tent Camping. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.